Good morning, folks. This is Naima, I'm Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Welcome to our technical analysis video. The question which a lot of investors are asking is, is the game over for the VIX index? And this is quite an intriguing one. So let's begin to answer that question. But before we continue any further, it is imperative to go through this slide of disclosures and risk warnings. So anything which will be discussed in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisor. We will be in much better position to help you and guide you and navigate you through that. So let's begin. Folks, the chart which is right in front of you right now, it is your Wix chart, the volatility index. It measures the volatility for the S&P 500 index, right? So what we are looking at now, that the Wix index on a daily chart and the price action is in terms of a candle chart. Obviously, this is the most frequently used chart among traders. So what do we look at? When we look at the Wix index, the first thing that we look at is the highs and lows of that particular derivative on any particular time frame. So we can see that this particular index, derivative or the index made the high right around this particular point, right? And it went all the way to 78.65. And where are the lows? The lows are sitting right towards the bottom of this particular chart, sitting at 13.23. So you can see that if we draw a curve between the up and the lows, we are right somewhere in the middle. Now the question is that where we should be placing our stop losses, where we should be putting our entry points, and what we should be really looking at with respect to the price action. Okay. Works. In order to do that, first of all, what we need to do, we need to define our support and resistance zone. Now, we know the highs and the lows on this particular chart, right? So we, we, we define them. Now, let's change our, re, define our resistance zone. So the high of that is going to be our resistance. So I'm going to mark that in a red color for you guys to clearly understand where that resistance zone is. So let's change the color. We go into properties and then we change it into red as well. Make the lines a little bit more thicker so that we can understand where the resistance zones are. So this was your opportunity. And believe me, in the previous videos, we have talked about shorting wicks. When it was trading towards its high, it was trading in around this particular area. It was about to enter in this. And then we made a video at a later stage when the price was trading within that resistance zone. We talked about you can always place options trade. You can buy puts for the VIX index and then look for the, this index to move lower. Now, clearly, in the past few couple of days or more, we can see that the price has started to break from its all-time high. So the question is, how low can it go and then where is that support zone i am looking at this particular candle and i am going to wait for the price to come into this support zone just to make the things you know uh, even with our previous analysis what we're going to do we're going to change the color again going into properties changing it to green right here and then we will do the same with this one as well Shall we change it to a little bit more darker green so that it just makes it clear for us that where those price levels are because this this green isn't really that prominent right so there we go now this defines our support zone so again double click horizontal and then we go into this bright dark green color and then there you go. So now I'm going to wait for the price to come into this particular zone and then look at any particular trade for the upside. Right now, there isn't much of a trade. But when I look at my moving averages on a daily chart, I know I am still in a big upward trend. Why? Because green, pink is your 50-day moving average. Blue is your 200-day moving average. 
average and orange is your 100 day moving average because the pink has crossed above the 100 day moving average and we know that you know it is above the 200 day moving average we can say that you know what bulls haven't lost all of the momentum it is only easing some momentum is only fading because the rsi was in a way oversold area for an extended period of time now it is time for rsi to come back and then you know be in an area where we can see some sort of you know um, some sort of easiness so for that to happen i want the rsi to come into this area now obviously today it is expected for the wix index to open lower and if it does we expect the rsi to come down if the rsi come down to this particular level the price comes over here great but if the price breaks that level then we need to define our next support zone and then our next support zone is going to be just in around this particular area here we go folks so let's change this particular support zone into a minor support zone and then how do we define that minor support zone we can define that by changing it into a dashed lines like that so we know that the support zone exists that we know that the support zone is there but we're just going to change the 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 um uh, the structure of the lines. So this is our minor support zone. This is our major support zone, which runs from 32 to 35, and the minor one runs from 41 to 45. If the price continues, you know, if the price comes over here it, and then it stops, the RSI stops over here, then great. But if it continues to move to the downside and comes into this one, that would be another brilliant trade. But if it doesn't, then keep in mind that any pullback to the upside, we can always short the price. And in order to see that, all what you gotta do is you gotta go onto a four hour time frame, cut the time frame by uh, into four hours, and then look for your those resistance zone. And that particular resistance zone, which really stands out for me from this particular chart, is right over here, defined by these particular zones. Again, we can change this to keep things you know in line with everything we will change the color to red so that we know what we are looking at with respect to the support and resistance zone double click on it right click and then go into red and there you go so this is our minor major minor major and look where the 50 day moving average is also sitting on a four hour time frame Okay, that's all for today. See you guys tomorrow.